In this video, we're going to mess around, have some fun, and learn how to pull data from the Spotify API. This is Max Bernstein. We're industry automations, and we make custom Airtable databases for the music industry. Let's dive in. All right, you recall, we've got our base. We have a releases table, which has a huge catalog. You're in the production department. Your boss says to you, Max, I need the ISRCs for every song we've ever released. And you look at yourself and you gather your energy and you go to work. Well, there's a better way. We're going to connect Airtable to the Spotify API using Make, formerly Integromat, a competitor to Zapier, but has a robust suite of modules that allow you to connect directly to Spotify out of the box to get this type of information. So here we go. Let's create a new view that's going to help us receive the information. We'll call this ISRC data. We're going to limit the fields in this view to the title and the ISRC. Sorry, no title. The name of the release and the ISRC. So we've got 77 releases. Whitney Houston, The Killers, John Lennon, Nirvana, U2, ba 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 ba. And we're going to head over to make start a new scenario. Pardon me. I'm going to delete this one to start from scratch. And let's get in there. We're going to now let's talk about these for a second, right? Create a playlist, update a playlist. I encourage you to go get yourself a free make account. Start looking at all of these modules that have been built out of the box and start to think about the possibilities of ways you can leverage the Airtable base you've built plus your knowledge of make and the data that can be retrieved from these modules to literally do your job for you. No more manual entry. You will be the most popular person in the office, getting everything done faster than everyone else, guaranteed for promotions. I kid, I digress, but you get what I'm saying. In this case, we're going to select search tracks. This module literally allows you to automatically query Spotify to return what you want. And that should be all we need to backfill the ISRCs of our existing catalog into our database. So I've already connected my Spotify, as you can see, back out here. Let's open up another module. We're going to call it Airtable. And it's going to be a search records module. And we're going to connect it automatically. Yep. Um, sure, I'll use my Airtable key. But just so you know, I recommend that you always use the OAuth because the Airtable key stuff is going to be deprecated next year, 2024. But I will do the Airtable key. Uh, here we go. Let's just do OAuth. We'll call it uh, Industry Records OAuth. Let's add the base that we are going to use, industry records. I think it's the last one. Boom. Let's grant access. The base we are going to select is industry records. The table is going to be releases. The view is going to be ISRC data and the information that we want is the name and the record ID. Boom. Awesome. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's make sure this is connected properly. Okay. 
So let's run this module. Let's check out what came back. We got Whitney Houston, The Killers, The Killers. Boom, we got 10 songs. That's probably the first 10 on our list. That's all we need for the demo. All right, the, f the first thing we have to do is take this little ticking clock here, move it over. Let's unlink. Let's move it over. Let's relink. Great. Now the scenario understands that this is going to be the first module to move. Zapier likes to call it a trigger. And then we're going to get on to this next step. So if we click in here, all of a sudden, instead of just typing in the killers, we can actually dynamically request that information from the previous module. In this case, I'm just going to request the name, Whitney Houston Dance with Somebody, and you'll see what will come back. I'm going to limit the results to one because I'm guessing that the very first response is going to be the one we care about. So we hit OK. We're going to run it all. And it's doing all 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Click through. Check out the first one. Whitney Houston, Dance with Somebody, came in from Airtable. And on the other side, you've got all this information, including about the artist, etc. And here you go. There's your ISRC hidden underneath this section called external IDs. Now we're going to al auto align the modules. We're going to add another one. We're going to call it Airtable. And we're going to say update a record. That industry records base releases table, right? Same from the trigger. And the record ID, we're going to take from the trigger. So let's find ID from here. There you go. Uh, here you go. ID. Boom. Select that. And then the piece of information we're going to put in is the ISRC, which we just learned is right there under external IDs. Boom, we're going to say OK. And that is it. So I will set this up something fancy so we can watch it happen all together. Let's get out. Run this up over here. Move that view. Run this up over here. Zoom out. And if all goes well, you're going to start to see 10 ISRCs get shot right into your Airtable base automatically. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. And there you go. Your work is done. Come back to Airtable, set the limit to 77 or whatever it is. Rip them all at once. You can set this thing to run it every 10 days, every one day. Everything is possible once you understand the basic mechanics of setting up an Airtable base with Spotify's API using make. This is Max Burns from Industry Automations. See you in the next video.